Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Saskia Smith here. Um, today I'm going to take you on my journey. Uh, I started uh, with a totally different painting and I ended up very different. And in this video we are also going to talk about why that keeps happening to me. Because I think I know what it is. Um, I'm starting to paint my canvas uh, with Lucas Beige. So that's an off-white. And now uh, I'm testing uh, Vivid Intense uh, Blues and uh, Prism Pour Blues. Um, because I wanted to see what is matching. And I'm going to put... Vivid Intense Blue Opal on top of the other blues so I can see uh, what it does because I want to know what it all looks like before I start with my painting. I just love blue so that was uh, my start. Here I'm taking a little bit of the Blue Opal Vivid Intense. It's an iris iridescent color or interference color. As you can see, it uh, gives a little bit of that extra shimmer on top, uh, especially on dark colors. And now I'm going to start uh, with Indigo Blue Black from Vivid Intense from Color Art. I'm putting it in a cup and I'm uh, mixing it with some water because I want to paint my tissue paper, or in the Netherlands we call it silk paper. And I'm going to uh, paint them and dry them. So here you can see that. And this tissue paper is very very thin and very very fragile. And as you can see I was having some struggles <laughs> with my blow dryer and you see that's terrible I am still blow drying outside uh, of the camera so you can see <laughs> but my paper keeps uh, flipping up now I'm tearing a piece of my wet tissue paper and I'm trying to think of a way to hold that paper down and whoops there it goes again <laughs> But in the end, I succeeded and well, I thought it was just funny to show you <laughs> that not, not everything uh, goes on its own and not everything is right the first time. So I was thinking I was going to start with a piece of craft paper. I'm tearing it now and I'm going to look uh, how would it look good on my canvas. And I'm tearing it because I don't want really straight edges. I want it to be a little bit playful. And I don't know, I just love brown and blue together. And at first here I'm going uh, for the minimalistic look. And I really was thinking, you know what, I'm going to use all this paper and texture and I'm going to make this very minimalistic well at the end you will see that was really not the case and that's just my problem I don't know when to stop and I have been thinking about what it is that I just can't stop and I think I know what it is um, in my free time I'm always looking on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and I see these incredible paintings from different artists coming by and that gets me inspired. And then I find something new and I just can't wait to try it. And if I'm already working on something and that's my problem, I'm going to try that on the painting that I'm working on. But of course you cannot do all kinds of techniques in one painting you can maybe do a couple but not a lot and I think that's my problem and 
then at some point I overworked it and I'm not feeling happy about it and then I'm going to do more and more you know to compensate or try to rescue my painting and it keeps getting worse and worse worse but at the end I was happy with the result but it was totally not what I was going for but that's okay because the whole time I was doing this I did have a lot of fun and that's what it's all about so here I'm putting uh, down a little bit of uh, gold leaf because I was planning to have that little gold square there just like in my former painting and I thought oh that's nice that could be uh, some kind of signature for my paper paintings you know and here I am putting vivid intense titanium white down and a little bit of that emperor gold because I saw on Instagram uh, somebody uh, taking a window washer and making a beautiful painting with it so then I see that and I want to try the window washer right <laughs> I so hope that there are more of you uh, that, that have the same pro problem as I do but if it's just me that's fine too <laughs> But it's just nice to try things and there were many times in this painting that I could have stopped and I would have just a very nice painting for on the wall but well I kept going and going but I just love the way this texture look just look at that because of uh, the wrinkles in the paper below you see some of that paint yeah is uh, stuck on there and I just love the look of that so I'm going to let you watch this now for a while So here we have that indigo blue black again and yeah I really I didn't know what I wanted but I just knew uh, this wasn't the look that I was going for so I'm trying blue now and 
yeah that's exactly right how I'm saying this I'm trying and at some point it does look nice but well you will see when this uh, when I'm finished with this and it has dried that was also not what I was going for and now I'm picking up my canvas because uh, all this time it was flat on my table and it helps to look at it vertically so yeah then you see it from another from another point of view and that's important well I didn't like the way this looked so I thought you know what I'm going to go back to my original ID and I'm putting my blue silk papers on top of all that and this was actually quite nice because the tissue paper is so thin you could see what I painted beneath it and I really like that you see and that's what I just love about working with uh, this tissue paper because it's so transparent and I just love those layers and what you can do with transparency but of course in the end I wasn't happy with this step <laughs> but you will see that but uh, if you are going to try to do this please do because it's really it's so much fun it's so relaxing and you know have a little me time and just yeah getting your paper gluing it down oh uh, what I'm using is a golden uh, gloss gel with water and I'm just painting that on top of that uh, tissue paper because it's really thin it will seep right through the paper and it will be stuck to your canvas and it also gives uh, a very nice uh, yeah, glossy finish but also as you can see my painting is getting busier and busier and I was going for that minimalistic look and if I have something in my head I don't know then that's what I want but I keep getting myself in trouble because I just can't stop and now my painting is already looking pretty busy don't you think Okay, I'm uh, letting you watch this and I'll be back in a minute.
so looking back, I thought, oh, well, this looked kind of nice, but of course I couldn't leave it at that. And I'm putting the Vivid Intense uh, Titanium White on there again. And I start yeah, painting with my palette knife and just have a little fun. And maybe another problem is, is that I'm very impatient. So actually every time you do a step you should just wait until the next day and put your painting uh, vertical and look at how it looks when it's dry. But I expect my painting to look uh, immediate <laughs> like it's finished and that's just not possible because by now I don't know how this white will dry and we are just putting more and more on there So, do you have similar stories like me? If you have, uh, please let me know in the comments because I would love uh, to hear if you do have the same problems as I do with knowing when to stop or just uh, take your paintings too far and it's all okay, you know, because uh, yeah, I worked on this um, maybe a small week but in a couple of weeks because I did take some breaks in between and all that time I did have fun and I was really uh, in my painting zone you know in my happy zone <coughs> and it's all good and uh, you know not every painting uh, has to be a masterpiece it's also about relaxing and uh, distressing. Okay, well here I found this really 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 cool new medium. I'm not going to tell you what this is, but if you look at this the coming minutes and you think it's interesting, let me know. So if, uh, if you do, I will make a video about this medium and uh, explain what it is. Uh, I really had a lot of fun with it and I love it, but I shouldn't have put it on this painting. I should have made a painting on its own, but you know, it's me, so I'm doing it on uh, the piece that I'm working on. <laughs> and my painting just keeps getting busier and busier, but uh, I think this new medium that I found is really, really cool. And yeah, just let me know if you want to know more about it. I will tell you next time uh, what it is. So I'm letting you watch now and I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
So I think the effects with this new medium are very cool. I just love that little uh, bubble texture and uh, the texture that it's giving me now with acrylic paint. I think it's really really cool but uh, I just should have done it uh, on a separate canvas and <laughs> not on this one. But I really uh, want to experiment a lot more with this. Just look how cool this looks. But hopefully uh, you like it too and I will make a video the next time. And well that's also a question from me because lately I've been doing a lot of different uh, painting videos than uh, acrylic pouring. And is that something you like or would you rather see me do acrylic pours? Let me know in the comments. I'm always open to su suggestions. And the colors you see me use on there uh, are the new uh, Purely Pigments by Color Art. That's a, a really strong uh, liquid pigment. It's 5000% uh, stronger than uh, normal acrylic paint. And it's also really cool stuff. Uh, we have them with shimmer and just with color. They are on the website. so. If you would like to take a look at these, uh, just go to my website. A lot of them are sold out already, but I'm expecting uh, a new uh, shipment very soon. Uh, also with some new colors. And they are just really, really gorgeous. So this was uh, the end result of how it was looking now. And I just love, 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 love this texture. I think it's really, really cool, but I should just should not have done it on this painting. I just love that color also. Yeah, really, really cool, but there should have been uh, just white underneath it, just uh, or maybe uh, an unbleached canvas but just look how cool this looks maybe it's just me but i think it's gorgeous <laughs> especially in combination with those purely pigments <coughs> excuse me so it's a couple of days later and of course I think, wow, this painting is really, really busy. And you know, I wanted something minimalistic. So I thought, okay, I'm going to get uh, some white acrylic paint and I'm going to try to fix this. And at this point, I just think, well, I just ruined my painting. There's nothing more I can do. So I'm going to put some gold leaf on top of here <coughs> in the center and I'm going to work from there. Just uh, pushing it down. And you know we have seen the end result in the beginning and it's just very very different <laughs> from what I made until so far. So I tried to I just tried to save this canvas and I'm actually happy about the end result but I think I did three or four paintings in one you know so <laughs> I could have made uh, this on separate canvases and separate videos but you know I'm just learning just like you and I always want to try all those new things so I can also help you uh, you know with trying new things because I don't know how it's for you, but it really makes me happy. And at this point I thought, well, I'm just going to put uh, a lot of gold on top of this. <coughs> and blue, and we'll go from there. And I think this is also a gorgeous blue. It's a prism pour by color art <clears throat> and 
and then I thought well this is a lot of blue and gold I think I'm going to need some white with this and here I'm just playing with my charcoal stick and drawing some squares but because uh, yeah everything I was doing up till now were squares so it is of course a little uh, abstract <coughs> And I think the charcoal makes it look a little bit more organic and I like that. I love, love, love bright colors, but I'm also about uh, the organic colors and the minimalistic uh, paintings, especially when I uh, hang them in my own living room. Uh, I like to be my surroundings uh, to be, yeah, a, a piece of, uh, how do you say that? Um, when I sit down in my living room, I want it to be peaceful and it should make me uh, not stressed, but how do you say it? It's, it should be a peaceful surroundings. I'm so sorry. Uh, for you who are new here, English is not my first language, so that's why you hear me struggle sometimes uh, with finding the right words. I'm actually from the Netherlands. Um, I do have uh, an online uh, art supply uh, store and I do ship worldwide. So if you would be interested in uh, all those beautiful paints or pigments or tools for acrylic pouring or whatever, take a look at my website and we will be happy to help you with that. And as you can see, that new medium that I tried was not fully dried yet. Um, I was testing it and it really takes, well, almost four to five days before it's fully dried. But that was okay because I got uh, some quite nice colors uh, about, uh, from it, as you can see. And now this looks really... Uh, yeah, how do I say it? Peaceful, again. <laughs> the colors that are toned down, I think it looks really well in this combination. So there you see it hanging on the wall. I normally have another painting there, but uh, for the video I put it on that wall there. So you could see it with a little bit of light shimmering on it and now you see it on my floor where it still actually still is and this was the finished result so I like the end result but it was not the goal I was going for but I thank you so much uh, for watching and please uh, watch this next video if you like bye bye